Hello, I'm Brian with GlutenFreeHomeBrewing.com. I poured a beer just now. This is the first beer that we have uh, brewed with the Andia Pro uh, Liquid Enzyme Complex. It's currently for sale on our website. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you definitely want to jump over to our website and go to our blog um, and read some information about brewing with Andia Pro. Um, this is a new enzyme. It's a, as, as I stated, it's a liquid enzyme complex. It's a combination of multiple different types of enzymes that we're finding some really great results brewing gluten-free beers with. I poured the beer for starters before I even started talking, introducing myself, uh, just to show the uh, head retention on the beer. Um, the PSI on the, my keg was a, a little high floated a little bit on me so I um, off gas a little bit of that um, and it's pouring a little bit better than it did uh, the other day when the PSI got a little bit too high but as you can see I'm talking to you right now I, I left a little bit of room at the top of the glass so that I can kind of uh, swish the, the beer around and show you how the, the foam really gets nice and uh, leaves nice uh, laces on the on the glass um, and it really holds up. It has really good body, uh, really good mouthfeel. Um, as you can see, I'm still talking and the head has not dissipated really at all. Um, maybe five or ten percent at the most. Uh, you can kind of see the uh, it's starting to kind of like lace the glass really nicely. Give it just a little bit of a swirl here so you can kind of see how it's holding up and how it's really sticking to the glass. So if you're a little bit hesitant and a little uh, sticker shocked by the price of the uh, liquid uh, enzyme complex, uh, this might give you some reassurances that you, you are probably going to have some really good results using this enzyme. Um, the price point is simply that uh, this is kind of a everything but the kitchen sink kind of cocktail sort of uh, enzyme and for that reason it's expensive but with a pretty minimal dosage rate and the results of the beer uh, we think it's well worth the uh, consideration using this enzyme. As far as brewing recommendations those are a work in progress as you'll see from the uh, blog that you'll read on our website. Um, we are still working on that and we will update information as it becomes available. I'm going to give the uh, beer a little taste here. And again, just kind of give that a nice little swirl. And head still holding up. You can see it's just, it's just sticking to the glass. It's a really nice, really nice feel to it. Really nice body, really good mouthy feel. It's a very nice full beer. Um, importantly, I should have mentioned this earlier, um, this is about just under 90% rice malt. Uh, we find this enzyme works really well with rice malt. Uh, we're seeing good results with the millet and buckwheat as well. Uh, but there's a lot of potential in rice malt that may not have been realized with the other enzymes um, and uh, mashes that we were performing. Um, so this has some really great potential to uh, work with rice malt that uh, might be a little underutilized in your grain bills right now. Uh, this is a steamer style beer. I had uh, some various malts laying around. I didn't have a, um, a specific idea what I wanted to do. I just looked at the malts I had on hand and
kind of thought about what kind of beer style they might go well with and, and brewed this beer up and you can see it's came together visually really well and I can tell you from drinking it right now um, it's got an amazing uh, it's amazing full body full mouth feel nice and malty um, really nice turned out really nice so again go to our blog stay in contact uh, or stay in touch with our newsletter and our blogs we're going to be rolling out information as it becomes available and um, hopefully you can have some good experience with uh, the uh, liquid enzyme complex as well with your own brews. Again, this is Brian with glutenfreehomebrewing.com. Thanks for watching. That's just not going anywhere. I could do this all day.